Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ant Hen Dog, and we're back to it. You know how we do it. Burr Gang, Burr Gang, Burr Gang. Where y'all at, man? If you're part of the Burr Gang, go ahead and throw something in the comments right now. Another Larry Bird video. We got legendary Larry Bird trash talk stories revealed. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. We are on the way to 10K. Go ahead and like this video if you like this video. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Shout out to Podcast P. This is my first ever reaction video to Paul George. So this is pretty dope. I love seeing the, uh, the NBA guys, you know, starting their own podcasts and creating their own platforms, man. This is super, super dope. So we're about to see what Paul George, I think he had Brian Shaw on his podcast. So it's going to be a, a Larry Bird trash talk story. So you know the Larry Bird trash talk stories are great. Um, I feel like I've seen so many, but it's obvious that it's a lot more stories to be told. So let's get into it. I don't want to do too much talking. We got legendary trash, legendary Larry Bird trash talk stories revealed. Let's get it. While you're there in Boston, you play alongside the Bird, uh, Larry. What was most memorable I know Brian stories Sean was that Larry old. that you can... Tell us about because we all know how notorious of a shit talker he was. Yeah, that was that was it. I mean, how much shit he talked, right? Because I thought when I first got there and having grown up on the West Coast and always pulled against the Lake uh, the Celtics when they were playing against the Lakers, you know, during the Showtime days, um, I was like, man, they letting this white boy who who can't jump, who's not athletic. Kill them like that. He ain't that damn good yeah. until I got there. Before Brian Shaw go into it, let's try to nip that in the bud. Larry Bird was athletic, man. I, I hate this whole narrative of him not being athletic. Yes, there were guys that were way more athletic than him. But to try to sit here and say that Larry Bird wasn't athletic. And if you watch him, like, that, that's that's not the case, man. So let's let's stop saying that. Let's stop saying Larry Bird wasn't athletic. Like, maybe towards the end of his career, you know, when his back was done, he probably wasn't. But those early days, man, Larry Bird was, was athletic, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I remember one of the first practices, um, he told me and Reggie Lewis, he said, I want to play you guys one-on-two. <laughs> up to, up to <laughs> seven, right? And so not one-on-two. Like, Come on, man. He was like, the only catch is I get the ball first. So... Me and Reggie look at each other. We like, yeah, all right, man, whatever. So the next thing you know, it's six nothing. Yeah, <laughs> right. We ain't even touched the ball yet. He hits his first six shots. Yeah. So when it got to be six nothing, and we go into seven. We like, cause it would be like one of us would guard him, and another one would be ready to try to get the rebound. So we was like, fuck that. We double teamed him. <laughs> he finally missed. We got the ball, and then we just kind of played keep away from him. We end up coming back and winning seven to six. So yeah. And I was like. And that was one of my early experiences with him. I was like, okay, all right, he he got a little bit more than what I what I thought he had. Then when we started playing, he was cooking everybody, but talking shit and telling them about it. And Kevin McHale was a bad motherfucker too, and yeah. he used to talk a lot of shit. So they would, and, and, I, and I'll share this quick story. We were playing Utah, and back then, you score on a play, you just keep running it again again until until they stop it. So I would, I would have to hit Reggie, go through, set a cross screen for Larry, and Carl Malone was guarding Larry. Larry was killing him. Kevin McHale was locking Carl Malone up on the other end, uh -huh. and Larry was talking about, "Yeah, we too bad white boys, ain't it?" <laughs> <laughs> so I remember going across, setting the screen on Carl the first time. Larry came off, caught it, scored. As we were running back down the court, Carl Malone said, "Young fella." You set a screen on me again like that, I'm going to knock your head off your shoulders. The whole time I'm running down court, I'm like, damn, is, is he really going to do this shit? And I know we're about to run the play again, right? Because we just scored on him. So I hit Reggie again. I go across and set the pick. I'm standing in the middle of the lane. Larry cuts off. And I see Carl rear his uh, forearm back like this. And and I, so I'm standing in, standing in. I'm like, is this one we're really going to try to do it? And he came through, and at the last second, I jumped out the way. And I was like, damn, he really? Yeah. And he was going to take it out on me. Because yeah. Larry yeah, was busting, busting his ass. ass. <laughs> you know, busting his ass and talking shit. But, uh, you know, that that story and the, and, and the last one that stuck out would be, as a rookie, we were staying at the Howard Johnson's Motel by Fenway Park. And Larry came and brought got all the rookies that were trying out for the team 
and took us to dinner. And so we're sitting at dinner. We can't admit, we can't believe like Larry Bird is actually taking us out. And, and we said, hey, you know, where where is it that we can go out down here in Boston tonight? He said, go to the Ramrod. It's a club right across the street from the um, from the motel. Ram, right. Yeah. So the name right there, right, the Ramrod, I'm like, that don't sound right. <laughs> right. <laughs> sound, <laughs> sound a little fishy. <laughs> so we get back, you know, we wait until it gets a little bit later and shit, come out the motel, and across the street is the club, the Ramrod. So we come out and look, and it's a long ass line waiting to get in, get up, get in. So we walk across the street. It's dark out. It's all dudes <laughs> in black leather and motorcycles and shit, but all, all not a, a one single woman. Yeah. So we like, and the club is called the Ramrod. <laughs> so, oh, so we was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he was trying to do his dirty. Oh, they burn. So we got, when we got to practice the next day to, in training camp, he just he was cracking up, yeah. you know. About, but, that's, but that's where he sent it. So he had a, he had a great sense of humor. He talked a lot of shit, um, but a great teammate to as a young player to come up and you know learn under and teach you the right way to do things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, because you you played you you played in Indiana when he was the president there. Mm-hmm. You know what kind of dude he was. Yeah, yeah. No, he was definitely a prankster. He was, uh, you know, I had stories with him where you know I had some some stuff that went on in <laughs> in, in my early career with you know I had this catfish situation, and uh, he texted me the picture that got leaked, <laughs> uh, and it it was just funny him being you know the president and the relationship that we had. Uh, but that was him, man. He was just a prankster and, and, you know, he would have his days. I will say that some days, you know, not to fuck with Larry. Uh, but then, you know, for the most part, he was, you know, he, he was pretty cool and chill. We've heard the rumors that Larry would actually be offended if another white guy would, would be guarding him. Was that <laughs> true? And do you have any stories of, of him kind of complaining about that? That's yeah, funny. that's definitely true. Um, he definitely took it as an insult. If you put a white dude on him. And one example that I can remember, we were playing Phoenix Suns. I think Cotton Fitzsimmons was their head coach. And they had a pretty good player, white dude named Tom Chambers. That could, I don't know if you guys remember him yes, jumping over Mark from Jackson mm-hmm. when, he, when he dunked the ball. And Tom Chambers was, was guarding him. Who was Tom Chambers, y'all? Write in the comments how, uh, how good Tom Chambers was in the league. And Larry caught the ball in front of the in front of their bench and like just turned around and just had a full on conversation with Cotton Fitzsimmons and the, and they coaching staff. <laughs> Y'all really going to try to disrespect <laughs> me like this? Y'all going to put this white dude it's on me and think that he could guard me and then just turn around and just shot a jumper in his face and just went down court, you know, shaking yeah. his head. But like stuff like that was just, it was just commonplace, you know, but he definitely, definitely felt, insulted um, if you tried to put a white dude on this. Hilarious. We wanted to take a brief break from the episode to let you know that Prize Picks has got you guys. Shout out to Prize Picks, but they ain't paying for my videos. So shout out to that one. Uh, it was really quick. You know, I'm, I'm going to get this video out quick so y'all can see this. I think the most interesting thing about that one was the first story that Brian Shaw told. Mind you, I don't remember where uh, Brian Shaw was drafted in that draft or when, or how highly touted he was. But Reggie Lewis, you know, RIP to Reggie Lewis, he was supposed to be a really, really good player for Boston. And I think he was drafted pretty high. So, like, you got this, this young rookie that's supposed to be really, really good. And Larry Bird, like, I will play y'all one on two. Like, I mean, I want to play y'all, you know, one on two. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. That's like somebody on the Spurs right now, you know, t- uh, hitting up Wimby and the other rookie. Like, I want to play y'all one on two real quick. Like, that's the type of confidence that Larry Bird has. So I don't care how good you is. Y'all young. Like, I want to play the Young Bucks one on two. And he almost beat him. He almost beat him. I think that's the funniest part, too. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Go ahead and like this video if you like this video. And go ahead and write some in the comments. Give me other Larry Bird videos to react to, man. Like, I'm trying to, you know, diversify my videos and react to different guys and, you know, get some variety. But I'm giving y'all what y'all want, man. My Larry Bird videos do the best, so it's only right that I continue to do the Larry Bird videos. But I appreciate y'all, like always. We out.